Hey, hey, so before I make the video about the trade research engine SERPs, I will talk about my trip to Switzerland because yesterday I just arrived back in Leipzig, but I was too tired to make the video back then. So yeah, I went there on Monday evening by train and it took the whole night. <laughs> I couldn't sleep properly, but <laughs> I mean, it was okay. And I arrived there on Tuesday morning in Davos and I mean, it was amazing. Like Davos and like the Alps are so amazing. It is so beautiful there. Like it's just the mountains and then you can go hiking in summer. You can go with a bike in summer. And then in winter you can ski and snowboard, of course, so it's the shit, it's really, really cool. And yeah, the guy just picked me up at the train station and then we went to his workshop where he showed me everything and he also gave me some things to work on, which was super cool. So basically I was wood grinding a table, so I was removing the top layer, which was super cool. And then he was spraying some sort of paint on it so that it looks um, nice again, so that it looks like it's new. And then on Wednesday it was snowing like crazy. <laughs> I can show you some pictures and a video about it. Um, it was snowing like one and a half meters, which is actually a lot. He was saying it snows like this basically just every five years or so. So it was a lot. And then we had to remove the snow from his, um, like from his place. And that took also the whole Wednesday basically. So yeah, I realized it's gonna be tough. Like if I do this apprenticeship there, I will have to wake up in the morning, I will have to go to work and I will have to work the whole day kind of. And then um, he was even saying he's working on Saturdays and Sundays as well at times. So it's gonna be tough, I think. But I think it can also be super satisfying because walking with wood and doing something physical is just like you feel great in the evening. You feel like you've, you've done something cool. And walking with wood is very nice. Yo, I'm right now at the garage of the carpenter company, kind of. As you can see, there are many machines. Also, like this is a chair that he built, like it's super cool. Um, you can even turn it around. <laughs> so, I think I really want to get into um, this carpenter thing. I think working with wood is super cool. I also did this one, like the, the top layer. I was, um, yeah, I don't know how it's called. I was just with the machine, I can show you with um, this one and then you just remove the top layer kind of and then we also did um, this table I mean this one is super nice it just looks so cool and it's yeah just awesome maybe maybe I'm gonna do that here as you can see it's snowing like crazy <laughs> This is really, this is Switzerland. <laughs> I mean, so beautiful. I really love snow and I mean, um, there's also a beautiful ski area here, so I could also snowboard or ski. And yeah, I could learn a lot, like how to work with wood. Also, this machine is crazy. You can do interesting things like these ones. So yeah, maybe I'm just gonna do it. Um, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be tough because, yeah, working hours are probably, I don't know, 10 hours or so per day and maybe even on the weekend, but the guy is super cool, super chill and he's very human, he's like, he knows like the whole system is fucked up and everything is just a game, but um, yeah, he's also just doing his thing kind of, but he's a nice guy, very friendly, very helpful and very relaxed also pretty chill so yeah maybe I'm just gonna do it here the carpenter apprenticeship and then yeah maybe build my own van or a tiny house or so um, but yeah just a short update from here <laughs> yeah I'm honestly considering it especially um, because I also don't have to make the whole four years uh, because of my abitur I cannot just make it in three years which is also a cool thing. Yeah, and just that you can see, I mean, this is Davos and it was snowing like crazy. It is super, super beautiful. I mean, yeah, pretty exciting. 
So three years in Switzerland sounds like a great adventure, but it also sounds like a tough experience. Like from my experiences, like what I've seen and what I've observed when I was there, it's gonna be tough. I'm, I'm sure about that. But yeah, you know, the tricky thing is everybody has to make it in this world in one way or another. Like, yeah, you just need some money in order to survive. So yeah, it's also tricky because I'm thinking like, should I get into Wall Street or into like to Frankfurt to, to the stock market and be a trader or something like that? But no, I'm, I don't want to be that. Do I want to be a waiter? I've worked as a waiter and that's also fucked up in one way or another. Do I want to be a chef and cook some like food? It's also, yeah, I mean, if it's your passion, then go for it. But um, yeah, I think to me, for myself, I think this carpenter thing is a great opportunity because you know, then I can also build my own tiny house and my own band. So, I think it's an opportunity where I learn a lot of useful skills in order to yeah, build a tiny house or like build my own bed. And yeah, let's see how it's gonna be. Um, let's see how I will decide. I'm honestly considering it to do it seriously and get into it. Basically also the guy is super cool. That's a, another very good plus point because he's humane, he's very friendly, he knows that basically the whole system is fucked up, he understands that money rules the world but basically it's trade in the end because money is just one form of trade. But what I really appreciate about him is that he didn't lost his um, friendliness like and he's not greedy and like at least from my um, impressions for now. So yeah, and he was even saying I can just give him a call and then come to Switzerland again and work with him because he also needs help. So yeah. And then I will have my own apartment probably. I will also earn like 600 Swiss francs um, in the first year, which is not much at all basically if you think about Switzerland. But in the second year it will be more than a thousand Swiss francs I think. So yeah. I think I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I mean, you know, what what am I gonna do? Because if I like keep doing the geography thing, then like where can I work then? How can I get money then? It's also gonna be tricky. But if I do this carpenter thing, then I can work as a carpenter in the whole of Europe basically or basically in every part of the world. I can also just go to New Zealand or to, I don't know, to... Canada and work there as a carpenter so it gives me a lot of opportunities I think and yeah meanwhile I can also make more videos about trade free goods and services I can talk about our fucked up society because you know I'm also just thinking how can I contribute the most to society and I think the most important is just education like people need to be educated about trade as the origin of most problems I know people who invest into bitcoins, people who invest into stocks and it's just like as long as we play this ridiculous game of trade then we won't be able to solve our problems and so that's the most important. You know we have enough engineers who can like automate pretty much every kind of job, it's just like they are building weapons. and. <laughs> You know, we have all those smart brains who are working on the wrong things and that's because of our system. There's an incentive to put profit above everything else. So yeah, it's just the most important to educate people about trade as that core problem which incentivizes people to do those shitty things. And yeah, then I can work as a carpenter if I made the apprenticeship and then also donate a lot of money to other trade free goods and services or organizations or projects who provide those i can volunteer alongside and also just have a good time i mean like what the fuck i'm a human being on this planet and i just also want to enjoy this amazing world that we're living in i want to go for hikes in the summer and i want to go snowboarding in the winter and yeah just enjoy this amazing world we're living in I also do know that I'm kind of lucky because you know I have the chance, I have the opportunity to like live in Switzerland and work there. But it's like what the fuck? Everybody on this planet should be able to be free. I mean, like, 
we should provide trade free goods and services for people so that they are relaxed and that they are smart and have time to educate themselves and be less stressed and be smart about our problems because yeah otherwise we won't make it so <laughs> yeah that's my input like if anybody is saying i'm not contributing to society i think i'm volunteering as much as i can i donated a lot of money already and i i want to be like that i want to like work in this trade system but then like provide trade free goods and services and help as much as i can and yeah so now i'm back in leipzig and <laughs> that's another story so you know, because of all the snow, um, the trains got cancelled basically on Thursday, so I stayed one more day. And then on Friday I took the bus to, what was it, Davos Klosters, I think it's called. And from there I took the train to Zurich and then it was an amazing train ride. It was so beautiful, like the landscape with the snow and the trees. So yeah, and then I was in Zurich and I, I couldn't take any train anymore. So I was like, fuck, what am I gonna do? A hotel is way too expensive. So I just asked uh, two guys who like were like, yeah, walking around. And I asked them if they know a place, yo, can you help me? <laughs> I, I don't know where to sleep. And um, they were DJs actually. So they brought me into a, a super cool house where they, in the cellar, they prepared for a live stream. And um, the house was called House of Transformation. So also super interesting because I think they are also about, um, yeah, societal change kind of. And we also want to change the world. But they are into kind of meditation and yoga and some sort of screaming. And I think from what I've got is that they want to change the world by like from the inside. If people like meet themselves and meditate and do yoga and scream and just be free, then they can like transform themselves maybe and their behavior. And that's an interesting approach. Um, I mean, the house was super, super cool and it's an alternative project. So I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's interesting. And I was just happy that I had a place where I could sleep for one night. And then the other day, so yesterday I took the train to um, Frankfurt and there um, I met a girl. She was from the Netherlands, a photographer. and. Uh, we talked a lot about society and about I shared the trade free directory link with her and I told her about like the Fediverse and all those um, social network alternatives like Mastodon, Friendica and PeerTube and so on and she was really interested in that. I also talked to her about Linux because she had no clue about that. So um, yeah, she was reading <laughs> she was reading the book um, from Shoshana Zuboff. So how is it called? I think it's called um, the Age of Surveillance Capitalism. So yeah, I mean <laughs> that's the reality we are living in. Surveillance capitalism is here, and it was here already a while ago. So yeah, it's the most important is to educate people about those things. And then also to like get the connection to our trade-based society. Because what is the incentive for people to um, like spy on other people, to collect data about other people, to put advertising on those platforms? That is our trade-based society and that's the most important that people should get. So um, yeah, it was interesting to talk to her and um, yeah, maybe she'll gonna look into it. And I think that was it from here. That was uh, the update about Switzerland. <laughs> so pretty, pretty exciting. I mean, if you do a travel, if you like travel around, it's always exciting. The people you meet, the experience you collect. Oh yeah, and one more thing, like in Davos, there live a lot of rich people. So maybe I can also talk with them about trade as the origin of most problems. And that it's about uplifting the standard of living of everybody and having access to basically everything what you need and want. 
So instead of having a car, you will have access to a, I don't know, Hyperloop or so. And then you can just go from, I don't know, Zurich to San Francisco in like a few hours or so. And if you want to have food, it will be prepared from a machine. So you won't even have to cook if you don't want to. And it's about, yeah, making people comfortable to kind of get what they want and need without trading anything in return for that. And maybe I can also reach some interesting minds, but <laughs> I, I don't know. I honestly doubt that because I guess most um, people who have a lot of money have a lot of money because they yeah, kind of just want it for themselves. And yeah, I don't know, because the environment pushes them to be egoistic and materialistic and so on. But I don't know, let's see. <laughs> so yeah, that was it from here. See you in the next video. Just have a good time, take care and much love.